and tragedy at Frisco ISD on the first day of school. A 15 year old student was struck and killed by a car. Yeah, the district confirmed that Landon Bork was riding his bike when the car hit him and that he was a sophomore at Heritage High School. It happened around 530 this morning at Independence Parkway and George Washington Drive. Matt Houston is live in Frisco where school let out just a few hours ago. Matt, what a terrible way to start the year. Yeah, it is, Cynthia. In fact, some Heritage students met with counselors on this first day of class. Uh, the district called in those experts to help those kids process what happened this morning, but they're certainly not alone in their grief. In fact, even strangers affected by this affected enough to show up to the scene this afternoon. Though they have different connections to this tragedy, each person who brought flowers did so for a similar reason. That's somebody's child. Neighbors, former heritage students, people grieving their own loss, all here to offer what they can to Landon Bork's family. I went and got flowers and I got a card. I wrote them a little note. I hope it like gives them peace of mind. The 15 year old football player was biking before sunrise Wednesday morning. Police say he was trying to cross Independence Parkway a half mile from his school when someone hit him. No mother should wake up to that text. That's horrible. I mean, 15. The driver tried to help, but Bork died. Some neighbors say the street lighting here is poor and too many people speed down Independence, though it's not yet clear if McKinney police will charge this driver with any crime. Heritage High School let out as normal, but those picking up students know this day was far from typical. Excited for your teachers, new, new classmates and everything. But to expect it to go so horribly wrong is just insane and very unexpected as well. In a statement, the school district says Bork was a beloved member of the campus community whose loss will be felt by Coyote family. We spoke to the young man's best friend at the scene earlier today. He said he'll remember Landon for his work ethic and miss their trips to the pool together. This is just the latest tragedy in a spate of wrecks involving children on bicycles. In fact, just two weeks ago, a 14 year old boy died after being hit in the colony. Last week, a 12 year old died after being hit in South Lake and today a 15 year old in Frisco. I'm Matt Houston. Back to you.